the cell phone videos, pictures, and text messages that are emerging out of Afghanistan right now are providing a real-time account of the Taliban's brutal crackdown. They're also allowing the world to see the chaos that's unfolding right now inside that country. Those connections are also a lifeline, allowing the families that remain stuck there to communicate and to seek help. And it's for those reasons that I expect the Taliban will soon follow the oppressor's playbook, which means they will look to shut down the internet entirely or block the connections that allow people to continue to communicate and shine a bright light on the regime's brutal tactics. That's why the United States needs the strategic capability to maintain and restore internet connections. We saw this weeks ago as people took to the streets in Cuba in support of freedom. We put forward at that point in time a two-part plan that will allow the U.S. to restore communications. Part one is to introduce new internet connections from outside of the regime. There's a range of technologies that are available to do that, from high altitude balloons to satellite technologies. There's a lot of options. Path two is to provide surge funding for circumvention technologies that allow people to get around the filtering and the blocking that we see in Cuba, and that I'm sure that we will soon see in Afghanistan as well. We have the technical capability to do this. It simply comes down to a question of political will. We can and should have stood up this capability weeks ago in support of the people of Cuba and their movement for freedom, which is standing up right now to continue to shine a bright light on what is taking place inside of Afghanistan. For decades, we broadcast radio transmission, whether it was Radio Free Asia or Radio Marti into Cuba. The modern day version of that is to support unfiltered, uncensored internet connections for people that are fighting for their freedom. The U.S. has the ability to do this. It's time that we stand up and take action.